This video is going to be very interesting as I'm going to physically enhance the passive cooling system of this device, S9+. Plus. The entire look of the project was designed in my mind and was excited to get it done. Some things required, a file, ultra fine metal sandpaper, thermal grease, some more of it, oil, a syringe to administer that, a lighter, hand grinder and protective eyewear. This is an aluminum metal plate, basically uh, going to act as our heat sink and I got it from a defective power supply like this. So the bottom part was cut as you can see and the extra part is removed. After the cut, the edges were smoothened by a file followed by the sandpaper and buffing for extra smoothness. This is the result and as you can see, I've been good at handcraft. You can get better results. This is the battery area and the processors over here, which is touching the inside part of the metal frame and the heat is then transferred to the outside part of the metal frame. The problem here is that this part of the metal frame gets very hot to like 60 degrees and it creates a hot spot. The heat is not distributed evenly along the edge and even though there is a copper pipe inside, it's just very thin and has inadequate surface contact with the processor itself. So the heat has to be taken away from this part. Our heat sink is just ready to do that. As you can see, it is sitting on the surface area and the area of focus where we need to take the heat away from, and then it dissipates along the surface area of the plate. The air gap over here can be filled with thermal grease or a low viscosity oil with metal impurities, or you can just keep it there as we have managed to get good surface contact with the edge of the device. I have avoided the edging of the heat sink on the curves as you can see and on the bottom side so it doesn't anchor onto things and get displaced. Even the camera sensor is not covered by the heat sink so this is a perfect placement for our device. Heat sink is seamlessly one with the phone now. Here's a quick view. And the back side. As you can see, it sits nicely on the table or flat surface. And there's a gap between the camera bump, so that's an added benefit. This here is a C-type magnet connector. I've used a sealant on the edges over here and not over here because we need the thermal grease to do its job. And there is no gap over here so nothing is going to spill out. This plane over here is filled with a very thin layer of thermal grease. The sealant that we have used is basically a clear RTV silicone sealant. I've preferred this over rubber adhesive because this can be cleaned easily and the residues are not visible, literally not visible, as you can see. It also forms a good vacuum bond between aluminum and glass, so it will hold our heat sink at its place. Cheap, effective and practical. Well, that's my style. I've literally built this from scrap material and inexpensive stuff. And when it comes to performance, I've been playing PUBG Mobile after the upgrade and run 3D benchmark tests. So noticeable change, very significant change with uh, the FPS that I get in the game. The game is running smooth uh, over a long period of time and it's uh, more playable compared to before. So 
this entire heat sink gets warm which is a good sign that it is pulling heat from the hot spot over here which is the reason why we are getting good performance sustained performance and that's a success let's prove it with the benchmark test so this was a test that we have done let's go for it these are the scores you can compare if you have a similar device with you 7 person 6.9 degrees increase and six degrees drop let's compare it with our rank so that is my device over there sitting at 38 something and the same device over here which are offering 36 so that's a great improvement as you can see uh, oh that's note 9 and this is s9 plus which is our device so 36 and our improved performance is sitting at 38 over here now the 845 variant which is the snapdragon 845 the, the better chipset variant along with the uh, adrian 630 gpu does a good job but we have managed to come closer from 36 to 40 so significant improvement right here let's compare it with the version same version so you can see the CPU performance is greater GPU performance is greater. Let's compare it with the better variant that is the 845 S9 Plus. Here it does a good job with the CPU, but the GPU, the 630, Adrian 630, is far better when compared to what we have in the Exynos version. Rest, I was impressed to see the video de decoding was better on our device, so a vast improvement over there. When I say practical, well, this is a sleek design and I can still put this in my pocket. I've used aluminum, so uh, there's no significant increase in the weight if, if you consider a copper if anyone is wondering why not copper so copper is much heavier and uh, it's, it's going to be very undesirable for holding it for long hours uh, gaming or something like that also that copper requires a resistive coat on top of it and uh, handling copper is difficult machining copper is difficult this thing can be undone without a single scratch so I like the way I have planned this it's a very practical approach because this is the most elegant device I've ever held in my hand S9 plus and I would like to keep it like that scratchless there's not even a single micro scratch on my device that's how I like it.